My uncle actually shaped as a hobby, and so he had his own shaping bay, his own little glassing bay. And he find it, found out that I was into surfing, surfing a lot, and he invited me to come check it out and come try shaping a board. And my uncle expected me to take weeks to do it, and it took me like two days or something because I just couldn't stop. When I started, I was definitely in kind of a darker place, and I wasn't being creative, and that's kind of who I am, is making stuff and working with my hands. It kind of turned into one of those things where you get into that flow state where you kind of forget what time it is and you forget that you didn't eat this morning or whatever and you just start shaping all day and then I think it became something that really expanded my surfing and my knowledge of surfing and understanding you know how boards react to a wave and how of, you know your body reacts to the board and all that and it really kind of created a more in-depth understanding of the whole thing. There's a lot more problems in the world that need to be fixed that, you know, aren't going to be fixed with a piece of foam and fiberglass, but at the same time, like, making someone happy and making someone smile and, you know, end of the day, a hard day at work, if you can go out and have fun in the ocean, it kind of makes it all worth it. You know, a lot of people don't know how to describe it in words, but they know the, like, feeling that they want to, you know, feel on the wave. And so it's a matter of interpreting that into an actual, you know, characteristic of a board and trying to hook someone up with something that is like kind of their, the board that's going to give them that dream feeling. It gets me stoked when I go out and I see someone surfing one of my boards and they're just ripping, having a blast. And it's, um, I don't know, it's funny. It's like, I won't be out there surfing, but a little piece of me is out there surfing with like someone else.